this. Hey, look at that. First fridge, a Sheikah liquor. Hey guys, welcome back to another DMZ video. Today we're going to be looking at how you can get the Japanese liquor, also known as a Sheikah liquor. This is actually a lot easier than the cigar boxes. So you need three Japanese liquor bottles for your stash expansion too. And you will also need 16 bottles for your wallet expansion four. Those are the two that I know of. There's probably more that I haven't gotten to yet. So I'm going to show you how I find those. All right, so here we have a map of Ashika, and I'm going to show you what I would do if I were to spawn at the north side of the map. If you spawn in the south part of the map, you're going to do the exact opposite of what you see in, the, in here. So there's a couple good spots to loop Ashika liquor at. This over here at residential is one of the spots. There are bridges all over here in these buildings. So if you see here, we have one here, you have two there, you have two there, and you have another one here. So you have several fridges throughout here that you can loot. Alright, so here's one fridge. Nothing this time. Oh, there's a scar box. Nice. Make sure you loot up here too. Could be a cigar box. Did they open up the main building? They did, nice. Did they touch the fridge? They did. They got this fridge. They didn't take the liquor out of the fridge? What? Oh, nice. So once you go through these buildings, and I'll have clips showing you that I do find a Sheikah liquor here. It's all random though. You're not going to find it 100% of the time. But after you go through these buildings, go over to the underground waterways right here and go through that to go to the other side of the map. And there is a UAV up, but I think it'll be gone by the time I get over here. We're just going to slowly go through here. If you see bots, most likely nobody's been down here. That means you're going to get the chance to be able to loot through here. But this is how I go to get down to the next area we're going to loot down there. Oh, they looted through here. That sucks. Oh, there was a Sheikah liquor down here. Oh, look at that. You can get a Sheikah liquor while doing uh, cigar box runs. Another option, if you're looking for liquor, liquor, cigar boxes, vases, anything like that, is come out on the ship. Because nobody ever really comes out here. And it is, kind of, it is a stronghold, so you will have to clear out some enemies. But there are some lockers here. So you have the chance of getting cigar boxes, these medical kits. Oh, there's a cigar box. But you can also get, there's another cigar box. You can also get uh, the liquor from there. So that's two things that you can get from this boat. And it's, like I said, it's relatively safe. I haven't really found anybody out here. All right, this is another spot I like to go for a Sheikah liquor. There is one fridge in here, and then you have three fridges over here at the beach club that you can go to. Hey, look at that, a Sheikah liquor. I don't think a Sheikah liquor is that hard to find. Like, it seems more common than the scar boxes. And then, usually when people spawn down here, they'll go right for those fridges and loot them. So most likely, we're gonna find that they're already looted. Yeah, see the doors open. I'll show you where the fridges are, just in case you spawn down here. Yeah. They opened it. Maybe they didn't get the fridges up here, though. And then this fridge. Wow. 
So you have four fridges in this area that you can loot also. And they're on the outside edges, so you should be relatively safe doing this solo. If this video helped you find some Ashika liquor on Ashika Island, let me know in the comments below. Hit that sub button so you don't miss out on any DMZ content. And I'll see you guys either in a live stream or with the next video.